Heidi Ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're going to be finishing up a little project here <clears throat> that we started on over the weekend where we done a little remodel on this uh, uh, laundry room here, okay? And we didn't really plan on filming a video, but we did have Mint Hill Tina here the other day and she was filming just some clips of me working on this. And I watched them when I got home and decided that I think I could probably put this together to maybe give a little bit of information on how to do this for some of you folks that might want to learn. So uh, stay tuned, watch our video, and we'll see you at the end. Two hands, buddy. Good job. Look at this. Uh, huh? I'm gonna do this all day. You can do that all day? All night. Okay, dude. So what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Painting. What is this technique you call with a paintbrush? Uh -huh. This is called the painting technique. <laughs> I invented it. Okay, cool. You're doing such a fantastic job. So what technique is this, Mint Hill Billy? This is the rolling the pegboard technique. <laughs> and what you want to do is not have a whole lot of paint on the roller, otherwise it'll go into little holes in the pegboard and roll out on you and leave little runs. It's looking very lovely. That's a good color. We did good. Picking our color for the closet. The washer and dryer closet. This is what um, teenage boys do while everyone else is working. They play on their phones on a chair. This is how this works. Um, 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 you know what fun, you know what's fun, Mike? No. <sighs> okay guys, we're getting ready to start framing in this uh, case opening here at the top. Bring the camera right over here one time. Nice and slow, so don't jerk the film around. <laughs> My son's uh, doing the filming today, guys. I've already cut one jack post here, the height that I want it. And what we're going to do, since we're dealing with working on a concrete floor here, and nothing in this house is really all that plumb or level, we want to make sure this opening is nice and level because we did make all our shelves level. You know, when we put those strips up, we actually leveled it. So we want all this to look appeasing to the eye when we're standing back looking at it. Let me just check the uh, crown on this board one more time. And it looks like... Uh, it's pretty straight, but there is a little crown this way. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set this board up here. This will be one of the boards that we use to make the header out of. Just gonna do a two before header here. I'm gonna set it up against here, and then I'm gonna take my level, throw my keys down, I don't need them no more. And we are going to level this board here. Yeah, keep working with it till it looks pretty good. That actually looks pretty good right there. Let's see if I can get a pencil for me. That looks good right there. So we're going to reach over here with our pencil. Put us a mark here. Okay guys, actually I had to go back and remark that again. Get a little bit different position, but we actually got it right. We got it level and then we squared the line. And we measured from here to the floor. 
We got 80 and 5 eighths, and that's with cutting an extra quarter inch off because we don't want this piece of lumber to touch the concrete floor. So let's go cut it and nail it up. Okay, folks, we got just that one two before uh, cut and put in place up there, and we double checked with the level. Everything's looking good, so we're going to go ahead and pull that down, cut another one just like it, build ourselves a header, and then we'll fill in our little blocks above. So stay now tuned. The header is built and in place, guys. I'm getting ready to climb up here with my framing gun and nail it. I'm going to toe nail it into that uh, jack post. As you'll notice, there's a piece of finishing board here on the bottom here. And the reason I used it is because I had it. I had enough just to put one on the bottom of here because we're not going to actually put them down the sides. I actually sanded these two befores for these jack posts and I nailed them in with a finishing gun because we're going to actually just put a coat of dark brown paint on this something very similar to this dark brown right here we're going to paint this opening here so i felt like there's no need to really put a finishing board on there because we're down in the basement anyway and it's, it's going to look nice but uh we're just trying to cut a little bit of cost so let's get this thing nailed up and then we'll cut some blocks to go across here and get our paneling back on here okay folks uh, real quick you'll notice that i've actually marked off every 16 on center for some blocks to go up here and i did have a rhyme to my reason here because I'm using some of the old paneling that was up here before and this piece actually went right over here and then we have another piece that actually will have to cut the rest of the part that was enclosed in off of it but I did go up here and I held it up and what I wanted it to do is split uh, a stud here you'll notice where I I've marked it, I've got my X, so my block will actually sit right up through here. And you'll notice that this comes to about the midpoint of where that block will be. So that's the reason for uh, marking it off. I wanted this first piece to actually hit a stud, and then the other piece will be able to uh, attach on that stud as well, or that little brace, I should say. So guys, we marked it off 16 on center. We're gonna put the blocks on this side where the X is. We'll get all those cut, nailed in, and then we'll finish this sucker up. Okay guys, we're out here at the saw box. We're just cutting off these uh, blocks here. I already made one pattern. And we're gonna cut these and get ready to go back in there and nail them up. guys <clears throat> so there we go we got all our uh if you bring the camera up here you can see we got all our braces in place 16 on the center and we're ready to uh go ahead and put a coat of paint we're gonna put a coat of dark paint <coughs> on just this part here that's showing here and then we will go ahead and put our paneling up or we actually might put the paneling up first put a piece there piece there and then we're gonna paint all this uh like a dark brown and we're going to put a uh, door trim around it as well so we're going to work on that guys for a little bit okay folks hey we got some of the old paneling put back in place uh all we got to do now we're going to go out there and cut us a little about a two inch wide strip of paneling just to come down this side here on both sides so that our door trim will actually sit flush so because this is sticking out a corner we're going to put that on there and it'll finish out this corner as well so we're going to put some paint on that door trim and we're going to come in here and paint this as well and uh, keep on rolling. We'll show you what it looks like in a little bit, guys. Oh, we're also going to put a coat of paint on our crown molding and uh, we, we were able to take that off without tearing it up. So we're going to put the same stuff back in place. Okay, folks, hey, we're just wrapping up here. We got our trim uh, with a coat of the brown on it, and we're actually going right around in here. Uh, we're going to fill our little crack here just with a little uh, line of caulk. We'll let that cure up. We'll fill up all our nail heads, and we'll put one more coat of the brown on there. We'll call this part here done. We've got our crown out there. We put a coat of paint on it. We're getting ready to tack it back in place, too. So stay tuned. We'll be about done.
Okay, folks, uh, what we've done here, we've actually nailed these little braces here to uh, where our brackets are going to go, all the way around here, exactly where we're going to put them at. And we're getting ready to take these brackets. Let me just grab one. And we're going to use these two inch screws. And we're just going to set the brackets right up here. And we've got a spot to put three screws going into the wall. And we'll probably just put one into the shelf. Some little short ones. So we're getting ready to go ahead and start installing all these. And our shelving will be close to completion. Alright, we got that pre-drill. I'll move my drill out of the way. Okay folks, there's our shelves with the brackets in place. And what we're gonna do with these shelves over here, I'm gonna take uh, a piece of melamine board down to my dad's house. And we are going to uh, do the final cut down there and put a little radius on the corner of each shelves just to keep people from hitting their head on it. And then we'll iron on some melamine tape and actually bring these back and just install them when we're done. All right, almost done. friends hey we're back over here uh, finishing up this uh, laundry room project today as you see here we have our shelves you saw earlier in the video where I was down at my dad's house he was helping me cut these radiuses on the end of these boards here and then last night while I was watching TV I actually ironed on the melamine tape and if you've never seen that before it comes in a roll and you simply cut the piece the length that you need and you use your standard household iron to iron this stuff on and then you can take a razor blade and kind of trim any part of the edge that might be sticking over so we got all these fixed here today and we're going to be installing two shelves on this side and three shelves on this side the lower one being a 15 inch wide shelf and we'll finish installing our brackets and we also have these other little brackets right here that we're gonna to use to tie the corners together, like right here where the shelf that runs here. We're gonna put a bracket underneath here where you don't see it and screw it up so it keeps these shelves nice and uh, flush with one another. So we got enough to do that on all four corners. So let me start getting this done and then we'll show you what it looks like when the project is finished. Okay, folks, this pretty much wraps up our video. We're actually 100% completed now. We've got all our shelves in place, all our brackets in place. As you can see how it turned out, look pretty good. Got this one shelf here, it's 15 inches wide. That'd be a great one for sitting your laundry detergent and stuff on, right for your washing, your washing machines right here, dryers right here. Got some shelving all the way around. It's gonna be a pretty nice little project. I think this will definitely be a lot more functional than it was before. Let me back up. Give you one more little view here of the case opening as well. As you can see, that turned out good. We got our crown molding back up there. We just simply use the piece to come down and we put a coat of paint on it. Guys, this is our uh, little laundry room remodel. There's not gonna be a door here. A uh, customer did say they might eventually buy like a curtain or something to uh, slide back and forth maybe to cover it but for now i think it's good to go have a great day thanks for watching our video don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend about us see you next time